Hi guys, if you've got a Valiant boiler with an F62 fault code, then this video is going to be useful for you. So I had a F62 fault code and basically I was losing my hot water. It started happening, it was every so often, um, every now and then it would just flick off and I'd have to keep resetting it by pressing this flame button here and I'd get my hot water back. Then it become more regular and it was happening every other day. Then it went to every day, and then it went to twice a day. And every time I go to turn the hot tap on, I just have no hot water there, it'd be stone cold, freezing. So, I had a plumber come out, have a look at the boiler, and did a load of tests on it. 80 pound later, said it can either be the pump or the PCB, so the printed circuit board. Um, I was quoted, they said they were leaning more towards, after speaking to Valent, Valiant, however you pronounce it, after speaking to them, they said they were leaning more towards the circuit board than the pump. So they quoted me 250 quid for the circuit board plus fitting. So a bit of a um, expensive one. So they went away. Um, I started thinking, oh, I wonder if I can get one online. So I jumped on eBay and found a company that refurbished the circuit boards. And I picked up a, resurf a refurbished, sorry, can't get my words out, circuit board for 47 pounds, I think, off the top of my head. Uh, that's it right there. All right, so this is the broken one because I've replaced it now. Uh, 47 quid, 250 quid brand new. And it's the refurbished one. One year guarantee on it, so it can't go wrong really. Now, to get to this, okay, this is what solved my problem with my F62 volt code. So to get to it, first of all, you want to loosen that screw there. All right, loosen it right off. As you can see, I've got him wound out quite a few threads. And then you see that little metal clip there. Let's see if I can get it in focus. I can't quite get it to focus, but you've got one, oh, there you go, one there and one there. Press them down and you should be able to lift the bottom of the boiler cover away, unhook it off the top and then just slowly bring your boiler cover away. That'll expose your boiler now what I will say going forward from this part onwards is this is completely at your own risk I'm no professional um, I'm just doing this video just to help people out so if it can help someone then happy days so on your head be it if you try giving it a go like I did so first thing you want to do next is isolate the power supply to the boiler so I've got a little isolator switch down there which I flicked off I'm not going to do it because obviously I've already done it well so yours might be on your circuit board or if you got a nice isolator and switch there then happy days I cut your power off and the circuit boards just in behind here so you can pop this cup this whole unit forward it drops down it's on hinges and you just unclip the back bit so there's a little clip there one there one there and then one just there that'll expose the circuit board at the back now little top tip once you've exposed the circuit board at the back, take a photo on your phone because you want to make sure you get all the connectors. So you've got two block connectors there. Then you've got loads of individual wires, live, neutral, earth, then three and four was used on mine. That need to obviously go back in the right place. A block connector there. A spade connector just, where is it? There, next to the top blue piece, see them right there and also another spade connector there with another block connector just there cool and it's a fairly straightforward task to replace it I believe from the research I've done online this is what's at fault so number C5 now I didn't fancy unsoldering it and fitting a new one and trying it I just thought for 47 quid I'm gonna buy a new PCB and put that in it's a lot less hassle now one thing i will say is when you're fitting it don't do what i did so you've got your dials there and where was the other one i think the other one's there to turn the um boiler on and off and what they go into is you see that there there's one below and there's one on this white piece here okay and what you want to do is you want to be careful with them don't do what I did as I was pushing the circuit board down into its housing 
um, I didn't even realize and that's what the two knobs so them two there go onto that one there and that one below so if you can I would suggest popping these out put your circuit board in place then pop these in after and then basically refill and fingers crossed if it's like mine the F62 fault code will be gone so hope the videos helped someone out um, I could have done with this when I was looking for the fault um, so yeah if you like the video give it a like and a thumbs up thank you